Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews the Tech Channel, and I just found an old friend on the Google App Store. It's CPUZ, made by company CPUID, and what it does is it lets you see what's going on in the guts of your machine. Now, I've used it for many years on computers, especially on my desktop systems when I'm overclocking them to see what I'm managing to do and it'll tell you the CPU speed, it'll tell you uh, which memory banks have how much memory, what speed they're running at, the latency, all kinds of interesting stuff. Well, they just came out with this for the phone, for Android phones. They don't have it for iPhones, but you can go to the Google App Store and it's completely free. You can get the CPU-Z, search for that and it lets you see exactly what's going on. And there's all kinds of stuff going on in the chips in here. I had no idea that you can actually see the details of. Let me show you. All right, here it is listed in the App Store. And if you take a look at it, this is something you will very rarely see if you look at the ratings for it. 4.8 with over 30, about 3,500 people rating it. That is very rare to see an app so widely praised. And another surprising thing, when you go to install it, is it doesn't require any permissions at all. Does a little analyzing, and here we go. My phone is the Google Nexus 4, and it tells you the chip that's in there, the Cortex-A9, the dual core, and here's what it, the speed it's running at right now, core zero, core one, both at 700 megahertz. The CPU load, I'm not doing anything on the phone, but there's a surprising amount of stuff going on. I'll show you some of that too. And then there's the video chip information up here. If we go to system, it is a Galaxy Nexus from Samsung. I'm not sure about the Tuna motherboard there. Android version 4.2.2, about the amount of memory available, how much is uh, being used, your total storage. You can find that other places. Battery temperature and how it's currently discharging. Now this is the one that's really amazing. All the information here, these are all the various sensors. Here's the light sensor. Let me move my hand out of the way here. It will change. There we go. It's kind of a front sensor. So it's active all the time looking to see if it's light or dark. Over here we've got a proximity sensor, barometric pressure, your gyroscope, your accelerometer, the magnetic field being measured, the orientation, other gyroscopes, linear acceleration. So it's a pretty cool app in and of itself to be able to see the inner workings, what's going on inside your phone. But it's also useful in some troubleshooting situations. I would use it uh, when I was overclocking computers to see if there was thermal throttling going on. Basically, if the CPU starts to get too hot, it will actually throttle back the speed. It won't let itself go that fast because it doesn't want to cause damage. And the phone has the same sort of thing built in. So you can see if maybe an app that you're running is causing the, the phone to get hot and so it's throttling back and the phone seems sluggish when you're running a particular app, you can go in and actually see in real time what's happening. The CPU speed, the CPU percent that's being used. You can check the battery temperature at that time, see if it's drawing a lot of juice, maybe raising the battery temperature. So there are some applications where this app is actually useful, not just really interesting, but it's one I definitely recommend having on the phone. It's CPU-Z.